This film is about the distribution of non-food items. Following a humanitarian crisis, people have been displaced. You work for an organisation providing emergency assistance. For first phase response, you are planning an NFI distribution. The distribution team should include women and people from different groups. The team composition should not put anyone at risk. Consult with the affected populations to identify their needs and work out the best time and location for the distribution. Don't ask questions about difficult experiences when there is nothing you can do to help. Be careful not to give people false expectations or make people more at risk. Make sure you talk to everyone you need to, including the local authorities. Choose distribution locations that are safe for everybody. A poor site might lead to increased exposure to sexual violence or possible confrontation with the host population. Once there is a plan, keep everyone informed. Use distributions to conduct training and share important messages. Have clear criteria for deciding who should be prioritised at the time of the distribution. Identify people who will need help with transport and with building shelters. Ensure that you and the other team members know what to do if they come across persons who've experienced gender-based violence and what services they can be referred to. Your team should be familiar with their agency's code of conduct. Sexual exploitation or abuse of beneficiaries is strictly prohibited. To ensure that people can bring specific needs to your attention, set up a complaints area. Conduct post-distribution monitoring to check that the distribution has met the needs, including those of vulnerable groups. Remember, for a successful distribution, represent affected populations in the distribution team. Ask affected populations and local authorities what their needs are. Communicate with everybody. Identify vulnerable groups and specific needs of individuals to ensure safety, dignity and access to NFIs for all. Know how and where to safely refer survivors of gender-based violence, including sexual exploitation or abuse by humanitarian staff. Of course, non-food item distribution alone will seldom meet all emergency shelter needs. What else can you do to provide support to people? Please visit gbvguidelines.org and sheltercluster.org for more information.